I was lucky in the sense that I was on a trajectory that was purely focused on film and television. And I always wanted to be uh, part of the movies, even as a little kid. Uh, but I grew up in a very book-friendly household. My stepfather ran a mail-order, rare and used book dealer kind of service. My mother was and still is an editor for small publishing companies. So books were around. They were just something that you know you picked up whenever you felt like it and read. Uh, my stepfather's interest was in fantasy, horror, and science fiction. So when I was a kid, I remember we had in our little converted basement 5,000 volumes of uh, books by people like Asimov and Heinlein and Bradbury and King and Kuntz and all those things were just readily available and, and, and I got really into them as a teenager especially but always wanted to be on that trajectory, that film trajectory because I was, you know, I was in awe of the movies. I came out to LA after graduation and I was doing what other wannabe writers do. I was writing specs and working jobs I didn't want to be in and uh, trying to get noticed and trying to get sold and uh, and it took me 10 years but you know uh, I was able to get noticed.